Shohei Otani is the best player in all of baseball, or at least that's the popular consensus among fans and baseball writers. But how good is he actually? How valuable is Otani as a pitcher and a hitter, and how does he compare to legendary players of past eras? What can we expect from Otani going forward, and is he truly worth the hype, or is he just a media darling due to the rarity of his two-way play? Let's dive into the statistics Otani has posted thus far in his time in the MLB and compare him to today's other superstars as well as past legends. When we're done, you can decide whether Otani really is the most valuable player in all of baseball right now, or whether he's wrongly overshadowing the likes of Aaron Judge, Mike Trout, Jacob deGrom, and others. MLB Network just released their list of the top 100 players right now, and who they voted as number one came as no surprise. It was Shohei Otani, the Japanese two-way superstar of the Los Angeles Angels. Some fans would have preferred slugger Aaron Judge in the number one spot after he beat Otani for 2022 MVP and broke the American League record for single-season home runs. But the general consensus is that Otani is the right pick. As great as Judge is right now, and with all due respect to Trout's long-standing status as the best player in baseball, Otani is simply the most valuable overall when you combine his excellent hitting with elite pitching. As good as Judge and Trout are defensively, the argument goes they just can't make as many outs as Otani can on the mound. Shohei Otani is almost as if Juan Soto could pitch like Garrett Cole, and how could that not be the most valuable player in baseball? Otani is almost a walking, breathing, buy one, get one free as a baseball player. That is, until he reaches free agency, when he might become the first $600 million player in the history of MLB. Yup, he might just be that valuable. But is he worth it? Do his stats really back up such a projection? Let's take a look. In 2022, Aaron Judge led MLB in wins above replacement with 10.6 and one AL MVP. Coming in second in both overall war and AL MVP voting was, of course, Otani. He racked up 9.6 wins above replacement, mostly behind his stellar pitching, from which he gained 6.1 of those points, making him the third most valuable pitcher in all of 2022. Following only Dylan Cease of the Chicago White Sox and National League Cy Young winner Sandy Alcantara, Otani threw 166 innings, averaged nearly 12 strikeouts per 9 innings and finished the season with an ERA of 233 and a FIP of 2.4. That's an elite campaign for a starting pitcher, making Otani at least a top 10 starter for the year. He finished 4th in the American Cy Young voting and all in all had an outstanding season on the mound. His hitting took something of a step back from his incredible 2021 campaign as he only racked up 3.8 offensive war in 2022, putting him somewhere at the back end of the top 50 offensively for the year. Still, that's a good season by just just about anyone's standards, especially considering he mashed 34 home runs, knocked in 95 runs, and ended with a WRC of 142, putting him 42 points ahead of the average MLB hitter. And the funny thing is, his 2022 campaign is a sort of inverse of his 2021 performance, in which he was one of the league's very best hitters, mashing 46 home runs, but only in the top 25 of pitchers. It was interesting to see him go back and forth between the 2021 and 2022 season, one year in which his hitting did most of the heavy lifting for his value, and another year in which his pitching stood out more than his hitting. It's something baseball fans have almost begun to take for granted, but we need to remember just how special and different Otani really is. One year he hits like Juan Soto and pitches like Julio Arias. The next year he pitches like Luis Castillo and hits like Kyle Tucker. That's not something we've ever seen before in baseball or any sport. It's like if Patrick Mahomes played middle linebacker. So will Otani be worth the record-breaking contract he will almost certainly receive when he becomes a free agent? after the 2023 season? Let's take a look at one of the most astounding statistics about Otani and let you decide. According to Stathead, Shohei Otani is 7th all-time in ops in high leverage situations. In other words, when it's clutch time, Otani is the 7th best hitter of all time of players with a minimum of 300 such plate appearances. He also boasts the 3rd highest slugging percentage of any hitter in high level situations. In fact, he's the only current player in the top 10, including the likes of his teammate Mike Trout, Aaron Judge, Juan Soto, Don Alvarez, and so on. That means of all current baseball players, Otani is the absolute one you want hitting for your team in a high leverage situation. So alright, that's pretty impressive. The best clutch hitter in baseball right now, and 7th all time. That's legendary stuff on its own. But that's not all. You might want to sit down for this. Shohei Otani, 7th best clutch hitter of all time at this point in his career, has the lowest ops against in high leverage situations of any pitcher ever in the history of baseball. That means Otani is the best clutch pitcher and the best clutch hitter in all of baseball right now.
now. That's simply unheard of. It's already amazing enough that Otani pitches and hits at the major league level, but to do so this well and to be the best in the league in clutch situations on both sides of the ball is just outrageous. When you hear a stat like that, it makes sense that the only way Otani could lose an MVP race is by Judge breaking a record which has lasted for 60 years. For as long as Otani plays in the American League, the AL MVP belongs to him unless someone else does something historic and extraordinary like Judge did in 2022. Because if you think about it, everything Otani does is historic. We've simply never seen a player do this except for maybe Babe Ruth 100 years ago. So is he worth $500 million or even $600 million? Well, looked at a certain way, you could argue he's worth whatever an elite designated hitter is worth as well as whatever an elite starting pitcher is worth combined. You could argue he should make about what your Don Alvarez makes plus about what Max Scherzer makes. Some might call that an exaggeration, but statistically, it's not that crazy to imagine. Shohei Otani is a one-of-a-kind baseball player who's easily the most electric figure MLB has seen in a long time. There's no telling about how his legacy might shape up if he manages to stay healthy and continues performing at the level he's at now. He's almost definitely going to break the record for most money guaranteed in free agency we've ever seen in baseball. He'll probably collect several more MVP trophies, and who knows, it's not unreasonable to think we might witness a season where one man wins both a Cy Young Award and a Silver Slugger Award. Some fans might already be used to what Otani can do and might think the media makes too much of him at the expense of other deserving superstars, and that might be a little fair, but can you blame them? Otani is special, a once-in-a-century kind of athlete, and we should relish every moment we get to witness him performing in the league. That doesn't mean that we can't appreciate the other greats of Otani's era, from Judge to DeGrom to Soto to Tatis, but simply put, Otani shines brighter than them all and will probably go down in the record books as the most exciting player of his time, even if his teammate Mike Trout goes down as the GOAT. So what do you think? Does the media make too much of the Otani narrative, or is he worth the hype? Should he win MVP every season unless someone breaks a record, or is that just over-the-top Otani obsession?